Uh, hopefully a dog likes these. I don't know if dogs eat these, but uh, it's the only thing I could find that was even remotely uh, pet friendly to eat. Cool. Hopefully this is healthy for a dog. I, I, I really don't know. This is the only thing I'd find, but you know. No, no, don't walk away. I got more. I got more for you. All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Glad to have you back. And uh, forgive me once, uh, once again. You know, I, I found the first thing that I could find to feed that dog. I just, I, I wish I could have found him. You know, a carne asada burrito or something. But the only thing that was even near nearby was just this little corner market, and I found some muffins and. I, I don't know if it's healthy for a dog or not, but that dog was starving. So I had I had to give the dog something. I don't know. I got, I got a soft spot for animals, and so I just I had to give the dog something. Um, but anyways, uh, today we're going to be walking down to uh, the park where I work out at. It's kind of a more Spartan park. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'm turning the camera down right now because I, I don't want to film this lady that's walking towards me. I don't like to film people too much. You know, people... People in general just don't like to be randomly filmed by some white guy in Mexico. And who can really blame them? I mean, would you want to be filmed if you're just walking down the street or walking across this little uh, bridge or what, what do you call it? What do you call a, I think you call it a bridge when it's above a road. So this, this little transition here is right above the road. It's, it's kind of a neat little, a neat little construction project they made where you can just walk right above the roadway. But yeah, today I was just going to kind of talk about, you know, I'm walking down to the park and I was just going to, uh, today I was looking at the markets, especially the precious metals markets today. And I was looking and I noticed silver dropped a bit and I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. We're inflating the money like crazy in the United States. And so I don't know why silver dropped a bit, but it went down to $26.90 today. And so I bought a bunch more. But when you um, add in the premium and everything for silver, I was paying about, oh, what, what did I pay? About $33.25 or $33.00. 50 an ounce and so it's it's a bit more expensive than spot price but you know still a good deal well wow, beautiful day out here beautiful beautiful day <laughs> if you guys have never been to so i should say first off right now if you guys don't know where i am i'm in puerto Vallarta, mexico it's in the state of jalisco the capital city here is guadalajara but puerto Vallarta was where it's at I, this is right next to, this is this is the bay basically of the state of jalisco it's in this, it's this bay area, it's kind of cove, and it, it's the sea line, it, it extends out a couple of miles. It's just a beautiful, beautiful area. I would actually want to visit this. They have this small little town called Sayulita, Say, I don't know how you pronounce it, Sayulita, but I want to visit it. It's pretty cool. I guess it's a surfing town. A lot of surfers go there, and they just kind of hang out. Um, I also guess it's a fishing town. Someone told me uh, a lot of fishermen go there, and they, they catch a lot of fish there. And today I actually had some delicious shrimp tacos. Uh, what do you... Camarón tacos is what you call them. Camarón is shrimp in Spanish. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, it was absolutely delicious. <laughs> here I am. I, I kind of speak a bit of Spanglish here. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, Spanish English. Uh, kind of... You know, it's a very touristy area, so people speak... A lot of people natively speak Spanish here, but they also speak a bit of English. It's it's kind of cool. It's it's a mix. So I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a beautiful day here. It's nice and sunny out, uh, clear skies, bright blue skies. Um, coming from California right now, there's a bunch of smoke in California, and so the skies aren't as beautiful as they normally are. But normally California is bright blue skies and 75 degrees outside and very nice, just like this. But today it is just absolutely gorgeous here in Puerto Vallarta. But like I was talking about, you know, I, people ask me, I had someone comment on a previous video. They go, why would you buy silver? Isn't that just a waste of money? And to, to comment back to them, I just say, no, absolutely not. Silver is not a waste of money. Think about it. When, when you, the US dollar is basically just a piece of cloth paper. They can print as many of them as they want. And in fact, they don't even print them anymore. They just digitally create them. Whereas silver, there's only a finite amount of silver on this planet. Gold and silver and platinum, there's only a very finite amount. I mean, there's there's a finite amount of everything on this planet, but gold, silver, and platinum, there's a very, very finite amount. Now I would say, if you think of, if you're thinking of 
investing in platinum, I wouldn't do it just because platinum is mainly used in the auto industry and the auto industry isn't exactly as dominant as it once was. Uh, they use uh, platinum in catalytic converters and that's kind of the main use of platinum. They use it in a couple other industrial uses, but uh, silver and gold are, well, gold has always been a show of wealth. It's always been a, I think, who was it? Um, JP Morgan, the, uh, yeah, the founder of JP Morgan, JP Morgan is his name. He, I think he was the one who first quoted, he goes, gold is money, everything else is credit. I think that's, that's his direct quote. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's his quote. Maybe Jamie Dimon that said that, the CEO of JP Morgan right now, but I, I believe it was JP Morgan himself that actually said that quote. But if you're asking me why I invest in silver, the reason I invest in silver is actually to preserve my wealth. It's basically a savings account. It avoids inflation and, you know, there, there's a bit of a bumpy ride. So it, uh, it goes up and down over time, but um, over long periods of time, silver actually increases in value. If you look at charts and you look at you just look at the the data especially well gold is actually the the better gold is not as volatile as silver is gold's actually the better measure of wealth but the problem with gold is you know you're paying two thousand dollars an ounce for gold basically especially at this time whereas silver you're paying about 35 dollars an ounce after the premiums and whatnot uh, i'm actually paying about 32 dollars an ounce if i average it out and I actually bought silver when it was really cheap. So I bought it silver when it was about $25 an ounce. So I am stoked about that because if I didn't buy silver at $25 an ounce, I would be kicking myself right now. I think it got all the way down to about $16 an ounce and I don't get it. I don't know why people didn't want silver, but I, I'm just kind of a, I'm, I'm a relatively recent investor in silver. I'm not one of the gold bugs or silver bugs that have been investing for the past decade or so. Mostly for me, it is a savings account, whereas a lot of people have been doing this for decades and decades. Uh, most of my money goes towards dividend growth stocks that pay an average about 3.5% per year. Uh, I like your blue chip companies like Walmart, Kimberly Clark, Target, Microsoft, those kind of companies that they're going to be there in the long run, right? Uh, they, they're so huge that they're not going away anytime soon. People say too big to fail, and it's so true. Look at the 2008 crash that happened when every, the, basically the taxpayer bailed out the banks. And it's, it's true. It, it, some of these banks are too big to fail. Some of, these, some of these institutions are too big to fail. You think Boeing's going bankrupt anytime soon? Boeing's not selling any planes anytime soon, but uh, you think they're going bankrupt? Oh no, because the government's always gonna bail out that company. Because they have such a, they're so intermixed with our military that, you know, it, Boeing can't go bankrupt because if Boeing went bankrupt, then our military would take a huge hit. But I'm getting off on a tangent here. Um, before I forget, if you could hit that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. It really helps out the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. I guess they like likes for some reason. I don't know. It's also cool for me to see. So if you could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. But we're going to keep walking through town. Uh, also, I'm staying in an Airbnb right now. And I got a promo link. If you want $35 off your first Airbnb, I got a link down in the description below. Feel free to use it. If not, no worries, no problem. Just enjoy the video and let's keep going. So like I was saying, I'm in Puerto Vallarta right now. I am just walking through the streets and right there, there's the fire station right there. I, I forget what it's called, Protección de Efuero or Efuera. Uh, I forget what fire is in Spanish. But for any of those wondering who, how I kind of edit these videos, I edit them in iMovie. I'm on a Mac right now. I edit them in iMovie. And I, I used to not like Apple products too much because I had an iPhone. I wasn't a huge fan of the iPhone. I liked my, uh, I liked my Samsung Galaxy a lot more. But I gotta say, Apple makes a fantastic laptop. The MacBooks are amazing. I'm, I'm editing this on a MacBook Air right now. I absolutely love the MacBooks. Uh, Windows products. You know, I used to like Windows. Windows XP was a fantastic product, but ever since Windows Vista came out, Windows has just been going, been going downhill. And I, I actually do not like using Windows products anymore. Windows had, Windows had everything going for it, but then they decided, you know, we're gonna try to control you. We're gonna try to make sure that every single update gets updated and everything. That's, that's something that just drives me nuts about Windows is that 
in order to turn off updates, it is a process. Whereas Mac, it's like two or three clicks and boom, you turn off updates, they don't notify you anymore, everything's fine and you're A-OK. -okay. And if you want to update it, you can, but I'm, I'm sure both operating systems are spying on you. I'm sure Linux is the only operating system that you know is, is truly free, but I like my MacBook computers. Mac, there's something about Mac. It's just simple. It's just very, very simple. But continuing on walking downtown here, I don't, I keep getting off on these tangents. I, I apologize. You know, this is such a beautiful city. It's such a, it's such a beautiful area. Puerto Vallarta is just a, a beautiful city in general. But I, I get off these rants because, you know, I don't know if you guys have these just first world problems. I should call them first world problems. There are so many, like when I was feeding the dog in the beginning of this video here, there are so many other problems that I could be focusing on, but growing up in America, you are so privileged. You don't even think about it. You come, you come to a place like this, this, and you just, you're really thankful for where you're at at the, at the time. Anyways, I was walking down the Malacan yesterday, and the Malacan's kind of the tourist area, if you guys have never been there. Um, Puerto Vallarta has a tourist area, and it kind of has the typical Mexican village that you'd live in. Uh, Del Centro's where most people live, but I'm actually in the hills, so if you, I'm, I'm right above the Malacan, so if you keep walking above the Malacan, you, you walk up into the hills, that's where I'm at, so as you see me, I'm kind of walking down from the hills, actually. I'm walking towards the Malacan, because the public park is, is towards the Malacan, but once you get to the Malacan, you will, oh my gosh, there, there are so many vendors there that will try to sell you every single thing in the book. They will try to sell you anything and everything. And they are really struggling right now because basically there's there's no business. Um, it's The world is struggling because of this whole CV-19 situation. And so most of the time they have Americans that are coming there and they are tourists and they're spending money, they're partying, they're vacationing, they're having a good time. But this year, I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of vacationing going on because people are people are struggling. But uh, yesterday someone asked me, I was walking by this restaurant, and someone asked me if they could wear my hat, which was kind of weird. It, just imagine someone asking if they could wear your hat. It, it was a weird, very weird experience is all I can say. But anyways, here's a, here's a picture of the actual park. Um, this is where I work out at. It's a public park. And it just, it has a bunch of weights and it has a bunch of just various uh, workout equipment that it, it's pretty cool. Here's another view of just the, the area around it. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Puerto Vallarta is just a gorgeous city. But anyways, I'm walking, I'm walking towards the, uh, where, where I'm going to eat lunch. And I had a bunch of margaritas. I had a bunch of uh, pina coladas. I had... What, what did I have? I had a couple strawberry margaritas. I had a couple of mango margaritas. I had some pina coladas. I had a strawberry daiquiri. I just had, I, I basically had everything on the menu. I had some shrimp tacos, camarón as they call them. So I had some I had shrimp tacos. There's a strawberry margarita. And here's, here's my meal. I had some beef tacos. I had some shrimp, shrimp tacos. Here's the shrimp tacos. They were all absolutely delicious. The shrimp tacos were delicious. The beef tacos were, oh my god, they were so they were so good. The shrimp tacos were actually the best. So so these right here, they're like deep fried shrimp tacos. Oh my gosh. So this place is called, uh, what is it called? It's called Trace Dos because it's everything on the menu is basically twenty three pesos per per item. Uh, it's actually twenty three ninety per item, so it's like twenty four pesos per item. There's a uh, pina colada, colada. There's a pina colada. There is the strawberry daiquiri. And I'll show you the beef taco in just a second here. Here's the beef taco. Oh my god, it is, it is so good. It was so good. Here's another or a pina colada. I, I had so much to drink. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And I'm going to end this video right here. So uh, have a great day. Bye. Hey buddy, you should subscribe.